So we're looking at the newly redesigned six-cylinder Dirty Max, sorry, Duramax diesel engine. For the 2023 model year, horsepower has been bumped up from 277 to 305. It's about a 10% increase. Torque is also up 7%, and the compression ratio is also up a little bit. This engine's optional in the Silverado and the Sierra 1500 pickup trucks, as well as the Suburban, the Yukon, and the Escalade. So for the 2023 model year, they've incorporated a number of changes. The biggest is these uh, the new pistons. They used to be made out of aluminum, now they're made out of steel. That's kind of counterintuitive, because normally something that's reciprocating like this, you want it to be as light as possible. But by making them out of steel, they're more compact, they're shorter. By making them shorter, they're able to make the rods longer. That improves the rod to rod ratio. And essentially what it means is that it allows more power to go transferred into the crankshaft, as opposed to uh, horizontally into the cylinder walls. The cylinder walls themselves have been increased, the thickness has as well as the thickness of the, uh, the cylinder head gasket. Moving over here on the exhaust side, here's your diesel oxidative catalyst. Essentially this is a catalytic converter for diesel engines. And now it's located closer to the turbocharger. So making it closer like that, uh, less heat gets lost in the system. By keeping this hotter, your emissions are cleaner. Less fuel has to be pumped in through here to keep your emissions clean. Over here is your DEF, your diesel exhaust fluid. For those of you who don't know, modern diesel engines require a consumable fluid that gets directed into this chamber over here and that somehow improves emissions. I don't know exactly how. And then over here you have your exhaust valve recir your exhaust recirculation. Exhaust comes out of this system through the seat exchanger right here, back into the turbocharger, back into your intake. Overcomplicated if you ask me. Over here is your turbocharger. It has uh, variable vanes and improves uh, spool time at low RPM. And you have a ball bearing turbo. Here's your heat exchanger. It's a water cooled unit. You can't really tell, but it would connect right over here. And normally, again, you wouldn't think that um, up here is a good place for the heat exchanger because all the heat from the engine rises up but because it is water cold, it still stays cool. And it's the shortest path directly into the, uh, the combustion chamber, resulting in less turbo lag. The intake manifold has these butterfly valves in it. I don't know how well you can see, but essentially what this does is at low RPM, this is closed, and at high RPM, this opens. Again, it's another system that improves torque at low RPM. And I'll mind you, these are made out of a very high quality plastic, these valves and the manifold themselves. They're guaranteed to never break at extreme temperatures or high pressures or anything like that. Down here you have your high pressure uh, pump for the direct injection fuel system. Down here is your oil pump on this belt drive. Why it's a belt I have no idea but it just is. And then over here I can't tell you exactly what this is but I look, this looks like a silencer to me. As air comes through the uh, turbocharger, goes back in the engine over here. So let me know what you guys think. Is this uh, these new six-cylinder Eco diesels? Is this a good alternative to the big V8 diesels and the big V8 gas engines? Let me know in the comments. Thanks, guys.